Welcome back everyone to our seven week course on how to build a basic FTC robot presented by LegitBots16535. My name is Shamit and I'm the team captain. My name is Akilesh, I'm a mechanical lead on Team LegitBots. And we're going to be starting our first class on robot control systems and different build kits today. First, to be able to control your robot, there are a few parts that you will need and a few different design options you can follow. So the first way you can control your robot is by using a control hub. So this is the control hub here, and this is the battery pack, and this is just a basic push bot that we built just for like design for um, educational purposes. So essentially, here we have the wire which connects to the control hub, and this is the battery pack. So the battery pack is powering the control hub. Then the control hub is actually going to connect to this phone right here. And this phone is going to be how you control the robot. So for example, you will download programs onto this control hub. One, for example, let's play this program, which is test. So in order to play this, we would simply press in it, and then there's another button here, and we press start. So that program um, didn't work because it's just a test run, but that's basically how you control a robot using a control hub. If you ran a tally up program which involves a controller, you would do the same stuff except after you started the program, you would then use the controller to control the robot. So this is the second way that you can set up your robot to control it. So this way is going to use an expansion hub and two phones. So with the expansion hub, you're going to need this second phone, which is what we call the robot controller, and you're going to download your programs onto this phone, which will then put it onto the expansion hub. And the system with the driver controlling phone is exactly the same. You just uh, select your programs on this app, and then you run them, and then for tally up again, you just use the remote to control them. So it's all the same essentially, except with the expansion hub, you need to have this other phone on the robot, so you need to make sure that you have a place to put it. Now I'm going to be talking about the different build systems that you can use for FTC. Here we have one of the build systems that sell primarily, sell primarily to FTC teams. This is called Rev, and it's mainly based off of these extrusions. These extrusions are 15 millimeters in width and length, and they allow these hex screws to slide through. These hex screws are M3 screws, and they can be used to attach brackets, such as this motor bracket, onto the extrusions, and then nut goes over them. And this is the primary main way, um, this is the main way Rev robots are built. Here we have an example of a robot built with Rev. This is a basic push bot, it has the expansion hub and battery as previously mentioned. But um, it's mainly you ma made using these Rev extrusions. Here we have Rev motors mounted to them. And as you can see, these Rev parts are fairly floppy because many of these brackets are made out of plastic. However, these rev parts are also very affordable and much cheaper than the pre other um, build systems that we're going to be mentioning later in this video. Here is another build system we commonly use on our FTC robots. This build system is called GoBuilda and it primarily revolves around these U channels. These, these are U channels and these are low side U channels. And they connect mostly using metal mounts, which make these much stronger than the rev parts. However, these can be a little bit pricey. Here's an example of a GoBuilda motor. Here it's screwed onto a motor mount, and it connects to a metal gear. These structures are much more secure, and they use these M4 screws, which are slightly bigger than the rev M3 screws. used in FTC is Tetrix. Tetrix is a much older robotic system, but it's much cheaper and it also uses metal parts. However, unlike GoBuilda, Tetrix uses plastic bearings, which cause much more friction and can't handle high speeds. This is an example of a Tetrix mechanic wheel. However, we don't have many other parts using Tetrix because we don't use much Tetrix on our robot. Another build system commonly used is Actrobotics. Actobotics is similar to GoBuilda in that it uses metal parts, metal brackets, and is ball bearing based. However, Actobotics is a little bit older than GoBuilda and um, it's not as expandable. Here are pictures of Actobotics and Tetrix robots as well as different parts. That concludes our short summary of the different FTC build systems as well as the FTC control system. 
Thank you for watching and there will be many links in the description which will be covering how to set up the FTC control system and we'll also have links about where to buy the different build systems that we covered. Thank you for watching and we hope you continue watching our video series. Next video when it comes out will be linked right here.